guys sorry I didn't get a video for you yesterday I recorded all day and something happened with the camera it did not take it so I guess it wasn't meant to be but hey I gotta first thank all of you who sent prayers and well wishes for Josh that was awesome and uh, of course we're gonna miss him man but what a great guy and uh, hey Kim really appreciated it. I know that. We're going to get started here. And I'm going to get footage here. Probably the only footage I'm going to get today because I am running way behind. I overslept this morning. And that tends to happen to old Doc when, uh, well, when fall gets here. Hello. And because uh, I'm a little tired, man. A little tired, sore. We did 12 yesterday by 1 o'clock had to trim everything and i'm not used to that so yeah i woke up a little stiff today anyway just wanted to thank you guys hope you're having a blessed day and uh let's get to mowing we'll talk i'll tell you something that happened yesterday that i could not believe i even had to call tom doby because i thought for a second i was wrong and uh tom said no 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 that guy doesn't know what he's talking about so we're going to talk a little bit about dealerships and the mechanics that work there so we'll get into that later let's get some footage let's mow these two get out of here we're behind i'll see you in a minute
Okay, guys, so, uh, whew, that was a lot. Anyway, got the gator blades on today, boys and girls. And yes, they are different than mulching blades, okay? Definitely different. And uh, changed the oil yesterday. Got my new filter on there. What I do is write down the date I changed it and how many hours until the next one. And uh, let me tell you. So I went to a dealer yesterday, not my dealer. And... I noticed they carried Kawasaki stuff, so I was like, okay, cool, I'm in, I can get my oil. So I asked him for two quarts of the synthetic blend Kawasaki with zinc. And he looked all around, looked all around. He goes, oh, oh, sir, we don't sell that here. I said, you don't sell Kawasaki oil, but you sell Kawasaki engines and all this Kawasaki filters and parts. Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, that's awful strange. I said, but okay. Um, do you have any semi or synthetic blend with uh, zinc in it? Uh, he walks in the back and he brings out a mechanic. And the mechanic begins to tell me that air-cooled engines should not use that oil because it will it'll tear them up. It'll blow up, tear them up. He said, you could blow your motor. You could tear that motor up. So for the last 14 years that I've been using it and I've never had a motor blow up, I just kind of remarked to him that uh, 14 years and Kawasaki says I can use it. And he just looked at me and turned around and walked away. So guys, I'm going to tell you something. Do not trust mechanics that work at these shops start learning on your own now there are good mechanics don't get me wrong there are great mechanics but to tell somebody that the recommended oil that goes in the motor is going to tear the motor up that tells me one thing one of two things that guy didn't want to sell the oil because apparently they didn't have it and so they came up with a story to help back up why they don't sell the oil i mean all you could say is i don't sell it sorry man and i go on my way okay that that has to stop in these dealerships dealers have to start taking a little accountability on who they're hiring to fix the this equipment because we are spending a lot of money on this equipment guys a lot of money and that's why i called tom i said tom you tell me is a synthetic blend with zinc bad for my motor? He said, well, no. It actually helps it run cooler. I don't know, guys. You tell me. But to me, it would seem that uh, a mechanic would have a little more smarts than that, especially one that's getting ready to touch your motor. I'm just saying, man. But, uh, you, you know, I knew it before I even asked for the oil. So I went to Lowe's and they had it. So, hey, you know what? And guess what? I gotta tell you, the motor hasn't blown up. So, and it hasn't blown up in 1,026 hours. Uh, not saying it won't blow up at some point. I pray that it doesn't, but that's all I can tell you. Anyway, I'm gonna get this one done right here, guys. It doesn't really look like it needs cut, but I gotta get, I gotta get it cut. Um, I'm not probably not gonna trim a whole lot, just spot trim it. I will get to you guys later on today, man. I am moving. I'm moving fast, but I started late today, so I'll see you in a minute. This portion of today's video is brought to you by Toro Eyewear and Strikehold. Let me show you something Toro has, guys. They got the face. To put around your face and i'm going to need it i've been needing it all day so get over to www.toroeyewear.com forward slash dlt lawn care man the code is dlt lawn care all one word in caps i'll put it up here get your toros get your face shields get 
sweatshirts, t-shirts, whatever you want. You could have whatever you like. Anyway, I'm going to tell you something. That strike hold, I'm not going to quit, man, talking about it until every guy in lawn care and every homeowner has a can or so of it. The stuff is phenomenal. You can see, you can see all over where the dust has collected on my mower. Now you can see I put strike hold here, there, up here, on that, my little lever, I put it on my throttle cables, no dust collection, man. And let me tell you something, I put it on the little pins that open my gate, wrong thing. Now they literally will not stay open, they just, you have to just kind of slide it down on because they will snap, I know, I snapped my finger four times yesterday. The stuff is phenomenal, man. We sprayed it all over Tim's aerator. And uh, now he doesn't have to worry about it. And once you wash the aerator off, you still have a layer of protection. So you don't have to worry about it. On your chains, your sprockets, all that stuff. So I'll leave that down in the description. And I appreciate all you guys who have bought it. There's been like uh, 10 orders come through. So I do appreciate that. Funny thing is, nobody that I know of, none of my buddies have bought the stuff. So I'm not sure why not. I mean, you all have lawn care businesses. You're getting free shipping. You're getting 10% off. Uh, that's not going to last only till the 20th of this month. So I don't know, guys. I would get over there and get it if I were you. Anyway, I'm going to do this yard right there. I'll show you afterwards, I promise. And then we'll talk about something that I don't really want to talk about. But you know what? We just lost a good friend. And I think some of these folks out here in the comment land... I really think they're unhinged, man. I don't think they're right up here. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to read it because I erased it and that person will never come to my channel. But I'm going to tell you the gist of what they said. And it, it it's, it's, truly, it's truly a sad situation, man, when there are people out there that hide behind fake profiles. It truly is. We have really hit a new low in life. And there are just some sick individuals out in this world. So anyway, we'll talk about it, which I don't really want to. But I want you to know what they said. And I want to answer this person's comment. So, hey, I'll see you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, there it is. One left for the day. I am wore out today, I gotta tell you. Hey, I wanna give a shout out to my buddy, Ellingwood Lawn Care. Put your sticker on there, man. If anybody's got a sticker they wanna send, I'm gonna fill my battery box up with stickers. Uh, 1620, that is the shirts I wear. Those are made in the USA. And then of course, Toro Eyewear. So if you got a sticker and you wanna send it to me, I'll put my email down below, and uh, you just send me an email, I'll send you my address, and boom, we'll put your sticker on there. Okay, guys, all done for the day. All right, so look, I got a comment on my video last night, well, actually two days ago, on two, two comments from the same person. Absolutely false profile. Uh, I'm sure it is... Uh, well, I'm sure I know who it is, but let me tell you this. The first one, they said, uh, you're going to hell, Shane, because you chew tobacco, okay? That's fine. You want to say that about me, that's fine. I know where I'm going. I'm plenty comfortable with it. I'm not worried about it. The second comment, the same person said, why don't you quit beating around the bush and tell everybody where your friend who passed away went. 
We all know he went to hell. Okay, so that's where I have a problem. Okay, um, first of all, it's extremely insensitive to his wife. It's disgusting. Um, and I really wouldn't even bring it up other than, and I'm talking to the person that left the comment now, unless you are God himself, you do not know a man or woman's heart. So, as much as you want to get a hateful response from me, you won't get one. Now I'm talking to all of you folks. Please pray for people like this. Okay? For him or her and people like this. Because there's something wrong in their minds that they would take a situation with a person passing away and try to hurt other people with it. Now, when my father passed away, they said some horrible things to me through text messages. But you have to look at the source and where it comes from and understand that there are some sick individuals out here. Um, it's awful. But there are some very unhinged sick people out here that watch these videos and I never imagined in a million years it could happen on a lawn care channel but when someone doesn't like you and they really don't have anything going for them in life they hit rock bottom and so they will do anything um, so guys I need all of you first of all if you have a YouTube channel and people leave messages like that, block them, remove it, and just move on, okay? Um, I know my buddy Ray Ray gets massive amounts of hate. I'm not sure why he doesn't just block it and move on. But that's Ray. I'm not Ray. I'm Doc. But to say that you know a man's heart, you obviously don't know the Bible like you pretended to know it. Okay? Um, I'm not a scholar like you pretended to be. I'm a sinner saved by grace through faith. There's nothing I did for it. Nothing. I didn't deserve it. Nobody does. And Jesus died on the cross for everyone. Even you. Um, so I hope that... I hope that you personally find the Lord because you're going down, your life cannot be good and I feel for you. I truly, truly feel bad for you because your life cannot be good to be making derogatory comments about someone who's deceased. I mean, there has to be something wrong somewhere. And I, I just want everybody to pray for this person and pray for all those people who leave nasty comments to people, who are looking for to irritate people. There's no need for it. There's no reason. I show you my lawn care work. I show you my business. I tell you how my day is going. And that's all I'm here for, man. And I love the Lord. And He loves me no matter what you think. And... Uh, I just want to I just wanted to say that guys I wanted to bring that comment out because it takes it does take a very disturbed individual to say something like that about someone who just passed away and uh, on the other hand we love you Josh you're still in our thoughts you always will be brother and I hope you guys enjoyed the video I had a great day but I've got to sharpen I got to put a new set of uh, my other set of sharpened up uh, gator blades on because those things got dull in a hurry. And uh, note to Doc, do not wait two weeks to cut grass, okay? Oh my gosh, that stuff was unreal thick today. So uh, guys, as always, Dr. Rill's in the house, keep it real. We'll see you guys tomorrow, peace.